Howdy everyone, Taika here, welcome to another adventure. We're at the end of Endwalker. What just happened it was mind blowing. We went into the giant sphere, right? That Medion had created with all the emotions of every civilization that has fallen before her. And we went through various other civilizations that have fallen and saw what made them fall. And we persevered through them. And we made it to the end where we discovered all of the Medions that have been sent out into the universe and they all culminated to become the end singer I think it was because she's singing the song of oblivion and it was that she was just decimating everything and the one Medion that's still good was the Medion that we helped with the field of flowers that was with Hermes and she was trying to convince her sisters to stop but she couldn't so eventually we got to the point where we were trying to fight the end caller end caller the end caller and I sent my friends back with the, tele the, the transponder thing because I didn't want them to suffer or hurt anymore and I was going to try to fight it alone. But no, <laughs> Xenos flew from Theris through space time as a dragon who helped me stop the end caller so he can get his duel. I am on his back. You can't see it. There he is down there. That's Xenos and Siryu. Shinryu, Shinryu, Siryu is someone else. And the music, this song that's been playing is like a culmination of everything. Like there's Heaven's Ward, and then it did Storm Blood. You see, that's Heaven's Ward, and then it did, and then oh my, this is. We're gonna stop her together. And I promised if he helped me stop the end of the world, I would fight him. He is helping me stop the end of the world, as promised. Uh, keep in mind, oh, I gotta re up my food. Keep in mind, I did terrible in the dungeon with my rotation. My, I still don't understand my rotation to its fullest. And I have a lot of wasted DPS. So I'm gonna go in with a party of random people. Five forty, I'm five fifty-seven. There's shadow bringers. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I need to I need a battle pose. No, oh, no, I'm going in. I'm going in! Forget battle pose! Oh we're going in! <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know what to expect. I have to tell them first time. Oh, let me tell them party. Oh my god. The final day. There she is. Oh, she has a skull. You will never reach. You'll never reach the deliverance you seek. Yes, I will. Yeah, look at that party. We're ready. Oh my God, I'm ready. Okay, Doom Stars. Bad, I think, maybe. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh!
Oh, they're moving to the side, so I'm gonna move to the side! Okay. <laughs> okay, her tells aren't too bad. Not too bad. Okay. bad, but I know there's going to be a phase change at some point. Allegia. Allegia! That was that one place! How do they know which one's going to... Oh, it's when they combine! Touche! Well, now the stars, like, have exploded. The same end. Again and again. Oh, she repeats it. Do I inspect the point of impact? Oh, okay. That's easy enough. Allegia Unforgotten. Allegia is the end of everything. Oh, oh, screw it. The impact has been recorded, so it's going to happen again. It's going to... Oh, okay, so we want to push back this way because the impact's going to happen again. And then there's no real recourse to it the second time. Okay. So deep, only oh shoot! <laughs> it's like no. I'm getting, getting, getting in. I just wasted my triple cast. I was a triple. Okay, this must be the phase change. Oh no, I can still target her. Is there no face change? Oh, I, I warped to you for safety! No! <laughs> okay. I'm doing so bad, I'm the only person who's died. Okay, so the planets are going to converge there, so I have to run over here. Okay. Oh, what? No! Are you serious? The impact has been recorded. The same end. Again and again. Are you serious? 
serious right now? Okay, so that one's gonna blow first, and then the second one's gonna blow. So I have to run over here, because she's gonna rewind that clock. that I screwed that up that's okay use the triple we need to use the triple 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 switch shield okay don't use the LB3 tank's gonna use it Fatalism. Oh, this looks like it's going to be pure and utter pain. Prepares to seal the universe once more. If this is a DPS of 41%, we definitely did not make it. Ten seconds until your oblivion is sealed. Resist oblivion with all of your might. <laughs> oh, we're screwed. Did we just fail a DPS check? That must have been story driven. There is no way. We're at 40%. Yeah, there was no way. Dynamis. Dynamis will save us. Did 
Just like when they were praying to the 12. Oh my god, yes. Oh, this is bringing a tear to my eye. We've been here before. We have, kids. Many a time. Many a time is true. Thus do we know. To never give up. I have no idea what's going on. There's we'll so much going on. Again. I'm just, I'm just attacking. I'm just attacking. Oh, this is cool! I was trying to type. <laughs> okay, heal me. Good. Yeah, I needed a Benny because there's no way with how many things that she's been doing, there would have been no way I would have survived that. Oh man, that was good. Happiness and trust and love, that is the answer. Happiness, trust, and love is the answer. Oh, not bad. Gotta say thank you. Everyone left! That last thing is to try enjoy the rest of the walk. <laughs> oh, that, that was a fun fight. I still think Zodiac was the hardest fight, but that was still fun. Oh my god, we did it. Now how do we get out of this abysmal darkness? Superhero landing. <laughs> Is he gonna want to fight me right here, right now? Because I would really hate that. Medion. Happiness, the answer is no matter where we flew, there was only darkness and loneliness and pain. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for, the answers he deserved.
Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. May we please be friends? Yes. Give her feelings of hope and love and camaraderie and joy and happiness. <laughs> yes, I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. But feel that happiness. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. That's the whole point. You gather pieces of happiness. Precious and fragile. Only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes. Until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find was there all this time on a Theris. Yeah. It wasn't always there. Or we cre we created it together. We created our meaning of life. Like a field of flowers, perhaps. At first, a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colors. Yeah. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do. What are you going to do, Medion? No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Go for it, girl. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. A song of hope. Of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow, life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds, a song of hope. Poor thing. The song of hope. to normal one day life will fill the universe again and Hermes will see this and smile he will how I do not know but I do know that where there is a will there is a way it's true Hermes isn't fully dead his soul was taken down to the underworld after all miracles happen every day do they not they do <laughs> you 
poor thing. You're just a poor child who just... I will create a path back to your ship. Oh, cool. Where your dear friends await. Okay. Hold in your heart your desire to return to them. Then follow my lead and walk forth. Yes. That hope will surely guide you true. Xenos is still there. <laughs> He's still there to bother me. Please don't tell me you want to fight now. I'd be very upset if that's what you wanted right now. You mean to return to the world where you are hailed as a hero. Uh, I promised you the fight if you helped me stop the end of the world. I guess I have to keep my promise. Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure I have to share. And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. You really want me to duel you right now? If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. You value life. You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people. The motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. As surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. Such pleasures. You seek for their own sake, and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? He's not entirely wrong. Part of my adventuring is to find out stronger foes. It's not just to save the world. Kinda true? That I can't deny. Think what you will, but I'm not letting you leave this place. I've had enough of you. It ends here. That I can't deny. I, I just said it. I can't. I can't deny it. Like I can't deny that. That's not part of. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. I accept your duel because you weren't wrong. Part of my adventuring is to find stronger foes. Even the star. I did promise him his duel too. Okay, fine. He's evil and stuff, but I'll give him this. <gasps> Is this what I'm dueling to? Do? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Why is this so good? <laughs> Why is it so good? He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Yes, I want to be a hero and stuff, but part of being an adventurer is finding stronger targets. I will accept my fate. I accept your duel, Xenos, after I eat some food. <laughs> Watch me eat this Popoto salad. I'm gonna lose. 
Level thing 550. I think I'm 555? 556? He finally gets his duel. I'm gonna lose. I'm going to lose. That's a cool picture. I didn't take it, that's okay. Come. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna lose. It's gonna be a lot of running around, and I don't run. I'm a black mage. The you know, so play your passions. The space comes to the diamond. You burst. Your soul burns bright as your power swells. Okay, we'll do this, this, and begin. Nothing back. Push yourself to your limits and need to buy. I already messed up my combo. I don't want to be in the water. Okay, so it's a lot of the Siryu or Shinryu. I keep calling it. It's a lot of the Shinryu stuff. Okay, okay. How am I supposed to survive Aquaman? I'm not a tank. I shielded. I'm only taking zero damage for the first bit because I shielded. gonna have to trust in my auto heal. Ah oh, shoot, I messed it up, that's fine. A test of your reflexes. Whatever it counts. I'm not, I don't have good reflexes. I'm a black mage. Oh, I'm dead. I don't even know where my high potions are. <laughs> that did nothing. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. This isn't a bad fight. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, it's fine. No! 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 I can't lose now. Okay, that's last over there. These two are last. Okay, got it. Whoa! Okay, I'm okay for now. It's gotta move back here. Oh shoot! For the taking. I moved! I moved! I moved! I moved! I moved! Have you no rage left for me? I no moved! No 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 no! I don't trust it. My soul. How is 
He also gets a second win. Oh, now he summons his avatar. And he gets possessed. Oh my. Come, let all creation be consumed by our ravenous fervor. I have you. Ah! <laughs> How am I still alive? Do not tell me your life's fire is already spent. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Once more, it must have been yes. Where did those come from? How do I know what to hit? Okay, I know that one. Test your reflexes. Show me your vaunted fortitude. I'm not gonna survive an Ockmorn. Keep running. Oh, you're doing it that way. Okay, so you want to be here. Got it. I don't have enough. Oh, Hutzpa! No! Don't die! Oh my god! <laughs> Just do it. Just. Oh, Fudge Meister. No, not that one. Show me your vaunted Oh shoot! I don't have the help. No! Oh. <sighs> okay, I was gonna find the help. I'm gonna keep this up. I gotta keep this up, man. He's gonna come back. Do I have enough to get another polyglot? I might get a polyglot. This is my moment. Our moment. I beat you! The end of everything. <laughs> I literally punched you to crap out of signals! <laughs> oh no! Forget magic! It all comes down to fisticuffs! <laughs> it's a good thing I got my big ring, huh? Oh my gosh. I'm not a monk and I'm- Oh, and it's with my ring hand! Yes! <laughs> oh, oh man. I beat you. I beat you. <laughs> I beat you. Fair and square. Oh my god. I did it. Xenos, it's over. Your duel has been met. As promised.
have done it. I'm giving you what you wanted. <sighs> that I should lose again. It was a good fight, dude. How disappointing. It was a good fight, though. <laughs> oh, Pete. Oh, my gosh. It's a good fight. Never have I understood those around me. Understood their obsessions. Besieged by their banality, the world is a mire of tedium and trivialities. But in these fleeting moments, there is a spark. Blinding. Brilliant. Gone. Too soon. The thrill of battle. See, I should have My mirror. Born into this world. Bestowed name. Bid to seek out strife and adventure. I am beat. <laughs> I'm passing out. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Rising star. Send me home, Medion. Was this life a gift? Did he just die? He got what he wanted. He got his duel, and I think he just died. Even though he lost. Is that Minion? Ha! A transponder! Who sent me a transponder? And I leave Xenos at the end of the world. Xenos dead at the end of everything. Is he really dead? I think he stopped breathing. Can you hear? <clears throat> Excuse me. Must tend to. I did have the crap beat up. Please. Someone stand. They're trying Please. to help. Is that off now? So, Alice, guys, I'm coming back. You can't. 
can't leave us. Not like this. If you do, I'll never forgive you. So come on. Open your eyes and get up. I'm trying, Alice. I'm trying. Guys, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Whew. They're all trying to heal me right now. <gasps> I'm back, LSA, don't cry. Are you... Are you with us? Yeah. I'm back. Yeah. Oh, that'll oh, be. Thank the heavens. For a moment, we thought... I'd never leave you behind. Is everyone alright? After what you've done, you're the last person... <laughs> ...to be asking that. You... How can you keep your promise <laughs> if you're not here? True. Oh, I had to... <laughs> Another fine show you've put on, my friend. Thanks, Estinian. A fine show, indeed. <laughs> what were you thinking? Fighting alone. <laughs> Never do that again. Okay. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? <laughs> and if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. Okay. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? I'm okay, guys. I'm fine. Ugh. I mean, I did have the crap be on me by, like, the god of all gods. That is gladdening. <sighs> Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Okay. Gladdening. <laughs> I'll say. Please don't cry. There's nothing gladdening about this. <laughs> when Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came. <laughs> I had a fight. So when you finally was... deigned to appear, you're within an ilm of your life. <laughs> Damn you. Damn you for making us worry. I'm so sorry. I want to hug you. I am so sorry. <laughs> Let me wait. Let me wait. Those were cries of celebration. I'm back, guys. Anyway, well, the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonable. <laughs> Good health, and we mean to get you back that way. That's good, thank you. As for your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. Ah, excellent. Let us announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> what do you guys have planned? <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out <gasps> from Ultima Thor, you see. I'm almost home! Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. Okay. What do you guys got planned? Ugh! Oh, I'm in pain, but I'll... I'm home. They brought me home. This is the victory I needed. We're home, my friend. We're home. Oh my god. They flew us back when I was passed out. That's how long I was out. That's how long they were trying to heal me. Man, we beat the crap out of each other. beat the crap out of each other. We have 
revert at the end of days, guys. We have meaning of life, a reason to live. Oh my. Hi! Okay, I'm happy she's waving. Oh, Rabon. Carlamon. Hi, Vitra! Rhonda Hans back to normal! Doma. We're back, guys. This is the ending I deserve. I can't stop smiling. They're all waiting for me. They're waiting for the kids to come home. <laughs> oh, Alpha, I'm almost there. Is she really gonna be the first one? Is that? Tataru promised me she'd be the first to greet me home. Of course, the gleam would see me first. It's the Ragnarok. We're back. We're back. Truly. They were worried for Ariante. <laughs> they finally get along. <laughs> oh, she's crying. You guys are gonna make me cry. <gasps> He's excited. Go say hi to your son. You guys are gonna make me cry. He was so worried for his kids. He does love them. Even though he's a jerk, he still loves them. <sighs> welcome home, everyone! She was the first one to welcome us home. <laughs> She's gonna meet us at the pier. She promised that she would meet us first. She's keeping her promise. Come on, take those little legs to us! You got a ways to go to the pier so far! You guys are gonna make me cry. Oh my god, look at the welcome. I'm getting teary eyed. Oh no! It was gonna happen! Minion and the end singer. You did a good job. That voice actress. Amazing job. Flip an amazing job. I still want that mammoth. <laughs> I need I need that mammoth. Oh don't cry, Totoro, you're gonna make me cry. Welcome home! <laughs> As promised, she was the first one to welcome me home. You gotta keep your promises. Keep your promises. Oh, that was really good. Oh my gosh. That was so good. It's my home city's music! Is that it? I am the end walker! <laughs> I can't, man. Mama Heidi, thank you so much. That's the end of the Zodiac Hydaelyn story. Where do we go from here? Xenos is... I think Xenos actually finally died. I think Xenos actually died. So Xenos is dead. Medion's gone. We found the reason of the final days. Like, why it happened. 
Heidel and Zodiac are going, oh, it's showing my adventures from the very beginning. Oh my gosh. Oh man. How would I rank this game? It was... Oh, I mean, technically it's not over. I know that's just the end of the mean and Walker expansion, but still, how would I rate this? It was so good. Was it better than Shadowbringers? I don't know. I would put it... I would put it right up there with Shadowbringers. Like, Endwalker and Shadowbringers are tied for first place. And then Heaven's Ward, quick second. A Realm Reborn, and then Stormblood. I, I personally did not like Stormblood. It was not my cup of tea. The fights in it were really good. Stormblood does have some of the most more interesting fights. But storyline-wise, I was not a fan. Oh, look at little Alfie when he was still a turd. <laughs> He's not a turd anymore. No, this was so good. And the story behind it, like the the, the high guys when you're evil, the just the um the um like the theme of it, like what is the meaning of life? What do you live for? Is there a definitive answer? Is it only despair? Even if you know that there's an end to everything, do you just succumb to that? You don't. You define your reason to live. You define your meaning of life. And if, you know, you lose one happiness, you search for another. Yeah, the storyline and this the theme about, like, what it means to live. The Warriors of Darkness. Hi, Ardbert. To think that they had this all planned, like, do they really have all of this planned? Like, really? I wonder, like, did they really plan with the Alpha Omega storyline to incorporate that? You know? I think they could have had all this planned. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to skip ahead. Let's see, does it let me skip? Oh, there it is, skip. I hope I didn't skip anything important. How do I get rid of the... I'm gonna take the picture. I think this is where the picture is! My friends... I'm protected because of my friends. Oh, my staff blocks my way. Oh, well. <laughs> my staff is too big. <laughs> I wanted the picture and I couldn't even get it. Oh! That's such a good picture. My staff blocked my face. It's too big. That's okay. Dearest mother. Dearest father, this letter will be the very last that I write to you from the Rising Stones. Where are you going, Alphano? As I commit these words to parchment, I fondly recall my journey as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls, to the time I set forth to forestall the final days. Where's he going? At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, 
We fought the battle of our lives. Fought what? against despair itself. A veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. So Alfie quit the science of the seventh dawn? Full oft have I harbored the same malaise. Have I been brought to my knees, crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat, convinced that I will never rise again. How long after is this? However, I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent, like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones? For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope Aww. shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. So Alphano quits the science of the seven dawn. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. Oh, we're all leaving. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation. We're going to journey the stars. We are disbanding. The scions oh, of the seventh door. Oh, we are disbanding. There you are, Alphano. Why are we disbanding? Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Ha! So we're not actually getting rid of the signs of the Seventh Dawn. Are we just going to travel the stars? Try to save other worlds from calamity? Show them hope. Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? Oh, just a letter. <laughs> I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Live their lives. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. Oh, we've become too much of like a beacon, basically. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge. And we will face it together, as we always have. Yes, but I do owe Graha a tour of Ishgard, so we're not separating it. As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come anytime soon. <laughs> well, formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. I'll be glad to keep my lance arm honed. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your link pearl on hand. 
<laughs> so you really mean to stay, Tataru? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super secret organization <laughs> requires a super secret base of operations. So everyone's gonna think that we're disbanded. Oh. To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. I sure she did open that little storefront in Charlian. Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru, as do I our next meeting. So everyone's going to go off their separate ways because we have to keep the organization a secret. We can no longer be the saviors of Eorzea. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you. Bye, everyone. Aww. Uh, there's more? <laughs> How is there more? Ariane Oh, they're little cutscenes? Oh, I can find out what they're all doing. Heka, thou hast spoken with our comrades. Though this parting be not forevermore, it is nonetheless occasion for sorrow, akin to a pixie's path. The navigation of such farewells is a perilous endeavor indeed. For their part, however, the Lopperets embark upon a new beginning. Though bereft of its purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remains hospitable for the creatures of Aetherius. Thus do our lunar visitors convene with the forum, intent upon assigning some new and beneficial role to the solitary satellite. Yet ere that may come to pass, there is much and more each party must learn of each other, a process which doth promise to be eventful indeed. To that end, a cadre of Lopperets hath gleefully dispersed across our lands in the name of mutual understanding. Highland, tis said, did imbue them with her love for all things born of the star, and tis Vinah's own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in this irris pressable and exhaustible curiosity of theirs. Having witnessed that which they strove to achieve, I wish most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, that their abiding affection for man result in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they see fit to impart. Acquaintance? I call it a friendship! You're friends with him. I did not wish to presume. I, I would be honored should they consider me a friend, for it is certainly true that I have grown fond of their company. Ah, uh, but I shall digress no further. This day shall belong to the science of the seventh dawn, to mine incomparable companions. Oft time hath mine rescindance caused the grief and mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal, and yet here amongst you I stand, still stand. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. Thus do I prefer my humble support. Be it unto the deepest abyss of the highest heavens. Even if I must needs founder cross stormy seas, ever shall I answer thy summon. LSA? Take a scene to your preparations, have you? I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. When do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination? Oh, in case you haven't heard, we received new reports detailing devastation caused by the final days. It appears the situation is gravest in the land surrounding the bounty where the sky first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in the far north, in Gollumwald and the frozen lands beyond. We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one of which was the area of the northern empty. Had our quest taken any longer, Charlian may have come under threat too. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beings may still be roaming about, but those localized crises should be well within the capacities of each nation to handle. 
sirens are no longer needed. She doesn't say that we won't help out where we can, of course, as individuals. No more of this order business. As for my heart, I'll be heading to Garlemald with Alphano. They were among the worst affected and are still need help. Can get all the help they can get. I can't read. So they're gonna go off together. It won't be easy. An inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. Tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier, though. Thus, I'll curse my weakness, my inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudging no effort. And should I find myself discouraged, I'll remember you. Think back fondly to one of my memory moments of triumph and the accompanying determination, determined expression. Even those who still annoy me in retrospect, like when you activate the teleporter without warning... Yeah. <laughs> and should you hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere trying my very best. I look forward to hearing all the like. <laughs> Think you can keep up with me? <laughs> We're so competitive. <laughs> you asked for it, so you better watch out. Oh yes. Next time we meet, I shall be vastly improved, so don't be surprised when you find yourself marveling at me. I mean, we've always been competitive. Alice is a very competitive person. Avano! He gets nice Charlie music. Oh, take a pray forgive me for delaying the gathering. I was writing a letter, you see, to my parents. As busy as father has been, tending the aftermath of the exodus, he has been good enough to show concern for the scions. And besides, I've made them worry enough for a lifetime. Henceforth, I will endeavor to write as often as I am able. A little effort to set their minds at ease while we continue to be away from Charlotte. Both Alice and I are off to assist the Garlemald's recovery, you see. Though uncertainty remains over what will become of the nation. We cannot well leave the capital in its present state. We will rejoin those members of the Isselbard contingent still stationed there. Lucy and Maxima helmed the relief effort with support from our allies, the people of Garlemald among them. They will gradually be joined by those who have finished treating the tempered across the land. Lest you misunderstand, we do not seek redemption for failing Licinia and her sister. As a burden we must always bear. Nay, we go because of the truth of Lord Quintus's words. The truth that whatever ideals individuals may espouse, nations are not moved to action unless they stand to benefit. For the foreseeable future, the fallen empire will be at the mercy of internal and external forces. Though I do not doubt the intentions of the contingent, with greater powers involved in the relief effort, our allies may well find themselves drawn into a political agenda. True? They might try to do a political game. In going, we seek to ensure the needs of the people come first, to understand their hearts, that we might better help them begin anew. You best write me too. Write you letters? Of course, I would be glad to do so. But I would be gladder still when you come and visit, and I believe I speak for Alice as well. For fairly as long as I've been in Eorzea, you've always been on my side, watching over me in good times and bad. How many times have we gathered to share tidings? None could possibly keep down. The world is changing and will continue to do so. And no matter what the future brings, I hope that I can ever look to you. In good times and in bad, as a dependable comrade and dear friend both. Mm-hmm. I'm like piercing my hand every time I do that because of that ring. I love that ring. Thank you, Take. From the bottom of my heart. Ten more comrades are there. So many more. Cryo! What the heck? How are you feeling? Any lingering aches or pains? Yes. I can't apologize enough for sending Xenos to find you an ultimate Thule. When he came to me in Charlian, I was truly torn. As ever, there was only one thing on his mind. Forced to make a decision, I reasoned that if he would not be deterred from seeking you out, he might as well aid us in our cause, and so I struck a bargain. In the end, he was true to his word, and you defeated him despite your earlier exertions. But knowing the state you were found in, it could have ended very differently. My decision almost cost you your life, and no words could express the remorse I feel. You worked out. You did the right thing. Is 
a relief to hear you say that. Thank you. Time and again, I've been made to feel woefully inadequate. I wasn't much use in battle, nor could I face the form without my nerves getting the better of me. It always fell to you and the others. I must and will do better, and I shall begin with the restoration of the students of Baldessian. Through our work, Charlene will strengthen its ties with our nation, that we may be better prepared to face whatever threats arise in the future. Of course, it isn't something I can accomplish alone, but thankfully, I have the staunchest of help from Raha and Ojika and other remaining members. Together, we'll continue Grandfather's work. So she's going to return to the students of Baldessian. As before, certain commissions will take us to dangerous locales, and we may need to call upon seasoned adventurers. In such time, might you be willing to assist us? Not because you feel obliged, mind you, but because you feel allured for the task itself. I will crush anything in my way. Marvelous. Should something of interest arise, I shan't hesitate to reach out to you. Until that day, I shall endeavor to become a more dependable comrade. Aww. Van Gren. He's gonna try to find a way back to Rain, maybe? Ah, uh, our champion and savior. I was beginning to think my chance for an audience would never come. <clears throat> that sounds more amusing in my head. <laughs> it sounded. <clears throat> Speaking of heads, I was worried about yours, and the rest of you for that matter, on the mend I trust? Yep. Glad to hear it. You are in a bad way, and healing magic to know, I'm impressed by how swiftly you recovered. Then again, it's hardly the first time you've cheated death. Your strength of will has never failed to astonish me. Mm. Look at what you've accomplished. Medion is defeated, her song of oblivion cut short. The source and all her reflections delivered from the final days. If you had faltered at the last, then all hope would have been lost, but you held fast. Now Reen has a tomorrow to look forward to, and I could ask for no greater gift than that. He's so happy and proud of his little girl! As for a lesser gift, however, the next time you see her, I would appreciate you not describing my travel plans with Uriange as aimless wandering. We have a purpose in our roaming, after all. Keeping an eye on things in the absence of the scions on the world stage. I thought Uriange was going to work with the Laborids. There'll never be an end to our little problems that go untended by nations. We'll do our best to help out when and where we can. Which I suppose is an approach not far from aimless wandering when you get down to it. Perhaps you could tell her I am faring well and leave it at that, eh? Yes, I can do that. Not to mention this feeling of being uprooted. I've never been one to stand still for long, but when I think of home, tis the rising stone which comes to mind. How many times have we set out from this base, thence to return when our work was done? On the day the Scions came together, I only hoped for Mimphilia to find a place where she belonged, but never did I expect to find one here for myself. Hmm. Indulge me, Dega. I have a question for you. And imagine Mimphilia herself is asking. Are you glad you joined the Scions? Yes. Best decision I've ever made. There's never been a dull moment. That's the best decision I've ever made. I made so many great friends. I, I can honestly say the same. But all good things must come to an end, at least for a time. Should you need a helping hand for infiltration or reconnaissance, you know who to ask. I'll come running and you'll likely get a certain funny talking fortune teller into the bargain. Oh, so I thought Uriange was going to work with the Laporte's, but it sounds like he's going to, um, just travel the world with Thancred. Estinian? <laughs> he gets some mischievous music. <laughs> what are we doing? If you have something to say, then out with it. Just worried how you'll earn your keep now. Just wondering how you'll... I'll earn my keep now. <laughs> I know how I'll earn my keep. Just worried how you'll earn your keep now. You talk as if the science dissolution was more than mere pretense. 
There may be fewer calls to action, but we should be compensated as before. Why are you so concerned for me anyway? In any case, I do not want for options, even if some are worse than others. No sooner did Emmerich hear about a disbandment that he offered me a position as a guardsman to the Ethereum district. As a former Azure Dragoon, I'm guaranteed to be popular, he said. Who does he take me for? Even without his meddling, I'm perfectly capable of finding employment, and have. Some days ago, a Hennish envoy arrived with word from Vitra. The worm requested my presence as soon as things have settled here. He didn't deign to mention why I'm needed, but it pertains to dragons like it's not. In Thavnir, like elsewhere, the phenomenon caused by the final days abated when you defeated Medion. Though it's too late for those who had already transformed, life is beginning to return to normal for the survivors, or those who thought, sought refuge in Charlian. Most have already returned home, but many do not have a home to return to, nor loved ones. By an arrangement made between Vitra and the Forum, such souls shall remain in Charlene if they wish, to work and study. Vitra was always just a trap in truth. It's gratifying to see him become one in name as well, one who has the complete confidence of his people, if the envoy's tone was any indication. I often find myself speaking favorably of dragons of late. Not so long ago... I would have assumed his benevolence hid ulterior motives, but it is clear he cares for his people and they in turn revere him. So Vitra asked for his help. To know such a nation may flourish is comforting. Vitra's kin sought release from conflict. So weary were they of the suffering it wrought, they surrendered to oblivion. But Bidgar Sormer didn't give up. In hopes, he made the journey to distant Etheris with his clutch of eggs. And though his progeny went on to be embroiled in conflict with man, there were times that they were transcend where they transcended hatred to abide in harmony. That is their legacy and their triumph. In my lands, I feel the weight of their struggle and the strength of their resolve, and it lends me strength. These things I may never have learned had I not joined you. Should you ever have needed me, I will come. At the very least, it might be an opportunity to earn coin. So he's going to go off to Raza at Han and work for Vitra. And if that falls through, he has a position in Ishgard. Stola. She's going to find out how to get back to Runar. I bet you that's her story. How to get back to the first. Oh, are you saying... Are we saying our farewells too? I hadn't, at present, planned on a journey of any great length. Not that I am adverse to a moment or two of quiet reminisce. In fact, there was something I've been meaning to ask you. Something that has been in my thoughts ever since the last flames of the final day subsided. Okay, what is it? During our travels, we have witnessed more than a lifetime's worth of oddities and spectacles. More than can be easily recalled or remembered. And nestled amongst these memories are certain essential facts. The history of the theorists and the ancients. Glimpses of the Aya, of their culture and philosophy. Rather than simply hoard such treasures in my mind, I wondered if I should not be disseminating them in formal records for wider consumption. I want to write a book. When needed, I have penned reports and prepared briefings, but ever have I balked at the idea of binding the subject of my studies in a book or tablet. Truth is given shape and interpretation. When we sink to capture it with our words is invariably molded to fit a narrative, no matter how well intended the rendering. An event is described as sad, a summation which falls to, fails to express the emotion complexity. Yet the word on the page is what endures, a pale shadow of reality. Throughout history, some have deliberately embellished the truth, but I believe many, if not most, deviates from the results of similar linguistic shortcomings, piling one upon the other until the end result is unrecognizable from its origin. Which is why I fear that writing an account of my own words would be akin to diluting fine wine with water. Yet, even with the potential for corrupt meaning, I do, of course, realize the importance of keeping written records. Without them, my search for wisdom would be a painful affair indeed. What say you on this matter? Should I take up the quill, reflect upon those experiences only we have shared, and seek to preserve them for prosperity? Posterity. I let them read a room every night. It's enough to hold them. Um. 
Hi, let them be read and remembered. Write your book. Very well then, I shall endeavor to pen what I can of the Aya, of the ancients, and so many other wonders. But I am no scribe, it will be a less polished work, and more reordering of scattered notes. In any case, I feel much better for having sought your opinion. Left to our own devices, we tend to overthink such things. I will otherwise return to follow where my curiosity leads. After all, a safe method of travel to the first yet eludes me, and our adventures into the great expanse have prompted an entirely new set of questions. Should you stumble into the unknown, or struggle with some impenetrable mystery, know that I am at your beck and call. It never hurts thing to see things from a different perspective, and mine is rather different than most. Yeah. I thought she was gonna just focus her efforts to try to get back to Runar, but apparently not. Graha, you ready to go tour Ishgard together? That's what you wanted. Ah, uh, Taheka. Might you have a moment to talk? I thought we were gonna go tour Ishgard together, dude. With the science stepping away from the public eye, I have been left to consider what new endeavors I might pursue. And after speaking with Cryo, I've decided I'll be assisting her in rebuilding the students of Baldessian. Not only am I indebted to Master Galef for giving me a new home, but had our order never existed, I would never have set foot within the Crystal Tower. How differently my life might have been. I would have never met you, never become caretaker of the tower, never become a scion. You gave me the chance to do so much good, and I hope to continue to do so with the students. For an added benefit, new mysteries often find their way to our doorsteps. Mysteries that could prove ideal for fulfillment or pro for fulfilling our promise to embark on a new adventure together, unlike any we've ever experienced before. <laughs> yeah! Whenever you have the time and inclination, my friend, I stand ready to accompany you into the unknown. I know you would. Do you recall in the realm of Omicrons when I asked if you thought I may someday be mentioned in your epic? While well, it is true that to earn a place at your side would be the stuff of dreams, in the end, nothing would give me greater joy than to stand with you in the here and now. It needn't be some grand endeavor. There needn't be a promise. Whenever adventure calls, I won't hesitate to invite you, and I hope that you'll do the same for me. Without a second thought. Man, I'm gonna put a hole through my hand with that ring. I'll hold you to that. As much as we've already seen, there's so much we still haven't. Who knows, perhaps we will even encounter survivors of the Omicron somewhere out there. After all, given how they took to the stars, it isn't plausible that some found themselves far from home. Yeah, we fought one of them, Omega. And should we encounter a wayward traveler waiting commands that will never come? I would bid them seek adventure with someone, and with that partner find new purpose, a new dream. For if crystals can hold fast dreams, why not Omicrons? Wherever your plans may lead, do not hesitate to send word, and should a commission of interest come my way, you will be the first to know. Aww. So, looks like we're gonna have to postpone our tour of Ishgard, because he is ready to go back to Charlie and, and restart the students of Baldessian. But we did meet another Omicron. It was Omega, and we taught him how to dream. But can you fill have you? If so, I'm thinking to send everyone off. With your permission, then. Your attention, please. At risk of spoiling the mood, the time for departure is upon us. In my capacity as your receptionist, I bid you all safe journeys. Till next we meet, be well. Wind up heroics. Come on, you know who this hero is. Argos Horn. I got footballs! That's complete! We're all 
off on our merry ways. Bye, everyone. What am I going to do? I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. T'would be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Euless and the others while we're at it. Where will you all be heading next? Dravania, there is a book I've been meaning to borrow from the great Google Library. And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlian before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperitz. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Might we accompany you then? Rahar and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Uh -huh. Estinian, you will return to Rads at Harn, will you not? Aye. Aye. For Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details, I may not stay long. I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways, each to some far-flung corner of the realm. I love how the crystal tower is behind him. Aww. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, uh, has yet to divulge her plans. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Quite right. Indeed. Fair point. Uh, 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 so, what's next for our humble adventurer? I don't know. Medion! Spread joy and stop fear. Medion's still here. Medion. Oh, that's the end! Yet stand tall, my friend. Our journey will never end. This is back in Elpis. The constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. That's Elidibus. But he doesn't have the mask of Elidibus. He's wearing the white robe like he's left. Because I think they said that if you wear a white robe, that means you've left your position, you're more of a mentor. But he doesn't have the mask of Elidibus. And yet, something stirs. Yes. Steeped in darkness, deep as starless night, the beast hungers. Alas, I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star, as she foretold. Who foretold? We shall descend to the depths, you and I. 
to confront the dread beast pandemonium. That's a pandemonium raid. Pandemonium is Nelpis. Oh, the sights we shall see. The sights we shall see. I've unlocked pandemonium. I thought pandemonium would be at the end of the world. I didn't think it would be in Alpis. You have completed the main scenario quest and walker. Quest to unlock new content are now available in Old Charlian. Additionally, you may now enter the dead end with a party of NPCs. Rest well, champion of a theorist, for many and more adventures await you. Forgot to turn that off, but that's okay. That's it, we did it. That is the end of Main Endwalker. We're heroes! Medion is still there watching over us. Well, I mean, she was made from dynamite. Oh, don't do what I do. She was made from dynamite, so she's kind of eternal as well since dynamite is eternal. There we go. I've unlocked Pandemonium, which apparently I'm going to be going through with Elidibus, and it's an Elpis. I'm going to have to do that. I can go visit each of my friends and their different things, and there's new story quests in Old Charlian, but I'm going to stop now because I've been going for a long time. It was very good. I would give Endwalker 15 out of 10. <laughs> it was so good. That was very good. That was a great game. That was fantastic. That was a great ending. It has closure. Like, if it was, like, the end of a game, like, this was the end of 14, I would be fine with it. You know? Like, it was a good ending. But it's not the end of 14. There's more to come. But not for me for now. I'm done for now. I'm tired. This warrior of light needs to rest. So, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.